Hey Laura, I'm Huda from Huda Beauty. Welcome to my beauty space. Let me show you around. So I live in Dubai, but I come to LA all the time. This is where I come when I'm in LA. When I'm doing makeup, I really wanna make sure that I feel really, really good. So I like to be in an environment that feels really beautiful. It feels really peaceful, really calming. I love taking a bath at night. It is probably the most important thing in my daily routine. It's my me time. So a good bathtub is the first thing I look for when I'm renting a home. This feels a little retro, it feels a little sexy, and I love that it's kind of a standalone. When you're in LA, you need an LA view. So we have this gorgeous view of everything. It feels really earthy because you have the mountains and it feels very empowering because you have the city beneath you. This bathtub is where I come every single evening to relax. I like a lot of white, I like earthy tones, I like marble. I love to have things on a mirror tray. It's like a must for me, I have it everywhere I go. It makes everything look like a little bit more special. I also never bring my phone into the bathroom. As soon as I enter, that digital detox starts then. It's a really good time for me to kind of reframe and you know enjoy this moment. Some of my favorite products for makeup, my absolute must haves, I of course am a fool for lashes. I wear them everywhere, I wear them to the gym, not afraid to admit it. I also I love our eyeshadow palettes. The colors are just perfect for an everyday basis. I feel like no matter what the occasion, this is my absolute favorite palette right now. I also do love to stack up products. You know, when I was younger, of course, like I, you know, I didn't have the means to get products. So I was much more of a DIY person, but now that I'm older and I can afford products, I buy a ton and I like cluster them together. It makes me feel like I'm like this fabulous person, you know, and I'm like special. So I love to do that. I also love our Easy Bake Powder because it's a very pigmented powder. So even some days where I don't want to put a lot of makeup on, I can put this on and it gives me a little bit of this airbrush finish that makes me look really, you know, selfie ready because that's really important. This is my secret ingredient. I am obsessed with Jamaican cold pressed castor oil. I love bushy brows. I didn't go through that over plucking brows, but I didn't have the bushy brows. Castor oils really helped me grow back my brows. I've also grown new eyelashes as well, so I love this. Fragrance is really important as well because I think growing up in the States, Fragrance was always of a luxury. It was something that you did only when you were going out really somewhere special, somewhere expensive, it made you feel expensive. But in the Middle East, fragrance is a part of your everyday life. When I moved to the Middle East, I really started to fragrance from morning until night. I put a little bit on in the morning, I like to add it with other fragrances, mix it up together, create my own concoction. And then at night, I love to use vanilla on its own. I spray it all over my pajamas. What's really nice about doing it at night is it's not for anyone else, it's just for you. Because I spend so much of my day in makeup, the removal process is really important to me. I wanna make sure that I'm removing everything, but I'm also really protecting my skin. So I do a few things that are really, really important. Yes, I like to use a lot of really good oils. I also love a canister brown sugar. I use it on my body, my face. My skin happens to be a little dry, so I like to use sugar as opposed to salt. It's a lot more gentle, and it's one of my favorite things. As a child, I always was so fascinated by beauty and when I got into the industry, it was something that I found to be so amazing and so empowering and so I really felt like it could be something that was really, really, it could change people. I never felt cute as a kid. I felt really unattractive actually and when I put makeup on and I feel a different way, I feel very strong. I feel very empowered. I feel like I can be a boss. I can be, you know, really sexy at the same time. So I feel that it is super empowering and it's really important for me that people feel that emotional connection to makeup. It's almost like makeup meditation. Is that a thing? <laughs> Thank you so much, Allure, for coming and hanging out with me in my LA beauty space. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye guys.